we're talking about fronting, we're talking about having your toes, your torso, and your head all pointed at the person that you're talking to. Now, our toes, because they're so far away from our brain, like we can control the facial expressions. We can make a smile when we're like trying to tell someone we're happy, but we don't really pay that much attention to our feet and our hands. And so those are the places we're most likely to give away how we're really feeling. And people point their toes where they want to go. So this is not a dating seminar. Career Services did not throw a lunch for you guys for me to give a dating seminar. But you can tell in groups who likes who by where their toes are pointed. Okay, so you just stand right there. This feels like a lot to people. This is, this is what fronting looks like. What most people do, let me just angle you out. What most people do is they actually talk to each other like this. Do you see how we're kind of cheated out? And most people think that they're fronting when they're doing this, but fronting is actually this. Now the other little tip about fronting, I'm gonna just cheat you out again a little bit, is if you are walking into a networking event and you're trying to decide if a group is approachable or not, People who are angled like this are open to having other people join the group. People who are fully fronting, this conversation is less open to being approached. So if your ideal interviewer is in this conversation, just know that you're gonna have to approach it differently because they're less interested in someone else coming in. You might look for a moment when they're, they're cheated out a little bit, or, you know, if the career fair is coming to a close and you really want to make that connection, just know that you're interrupting and so you have to have a more polite approach if people are fully fronting.